Last thing I want to talk about is if you can, um, if you've got machines, use them. Um, things we do, we hit live a bunch. Um, I believe that you have to let them figure things out with a ball moving. Once they know how to move, they've got to figure out how to do that on time. And so we create a wall in our infield. One of the things we'll do with live hitting, we create a wall around the circle. So we go from foul line to foul line. We take our screens and we create this wall around it. And our goal is we'll front toss them and they're trying to hit the ball over the wall. Uh, they're about 10 feet high. So it teaches them, you know, line drives to go into it. They're too low, trying to teach them to get the ball into the air. Um, and then this is one to create timing as well. We did this. I actually heard Coach Baldwin at Georgia uh, this summer talking. We were in a group chat and a Zoom meeting. And he talked about how he sets his machines at weird angles and works spin to feel spin. So what you're, I'll play this a couple times. This is a machine that's going to throw to this hitter over here on the far right. And there's a machine in front of this hitter that's going to throw to the hitter on the left. And it's got really, really heavy spin. And they're trying to feel spin so that they know when to hit. So on this other one, you can see it right here. It's another of the same drill, same day. So these are our freshmen. This is the first time. This is a group of freshmen trying to figure this out. And they're a little bit shocked. They're trying to figure it all out. Um, by the end, this drill becomes pretty, pretty simplistic for them in terms of what the goal is. Now, that's the, that's the simplistic part. The actually having success in there is always the challenge. And so we change, change speed, change spin, change angles, change whether it's going up or down just to keep them challenged.